I think Amos Maven is special for many, many, many reasons. A, because Fats Waller was such a genius. But also I think the show is such a hybrid. It really isn't a review. <laughs> and it really isn't a musical narrative book show. It's somewhere in between. And it really does play like that. And I think that's why people for so many years now have been able to come away from the show always feeling like they've seen a book musical, even though there's no book. There's some dialogue and interstitial pieces, but the people are characters and they play vignettes. That's how I like to put it. And when you put that all together, you have a fairly clear narrative of a time and a place and people. And I think that's what makes the show particularly special, other than the fact that, of course, you know, the music is amazing. He wrote amazing tunes, full of joy, um, along with his collaborators. And also, I mean, the show originated off Broadway at Manhattan Theatre Club in 1977. And here we are in 2023, and it's still chugging along. So you can't argue with that. I mean, there has to be something said. It's been all over the world, uh, London, Paris, South Africa, all over and the international tour to it all over Europe. And I think there's something um, that reaches back to Fats Waller's popularity, because he was very popular in Europe, maybe even more so than the United States. And the show sort of traveled along back down that track, all the way to the Cape Playhouse. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> so here we are, and my dear friend Lacey Daryl Phillips, uh, Daryl Lacey Phillips, is, is directing this production, and I'm giving a few of my undoubted insights for it and it's an amazing cast and I think you're gonna enjoy it so hurry up and get your tickets if you don't have them one never knows too.